I got in my flesh and I was, I said some things and I, and I shouldn't have. And I publicly want to say I am sorry because as a pastor and a preacher of the gospel, we are supposed to bring peace and we're supposed to bring difference and we're supposed to bring alignment. And uh, say whether or not she agrees or want to accept it, I really couldn't care less what she has to say at this point. At the end, because of the way she was behaving and the, the level of, 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 oh my gosh, I, I said something subliminally and everybody understood what I was saying and, and I, I was wrong. And I do apologize and I ask that she would forgive me for allowing uh, a, a moment to bring truth and unity together to come together that I used that moment where Moses and my personality came out and I said a few things that that I obviously hurt her that's why she's on a campaign to try to do whatever she wants to do but never um, my message of bringing us together as one could also be distorted or lose validity and listened to me both Christians and alike although I do believe she needs to behave herself and stop and to come together and let us stop fighting each other in social media. Never showed me that there were individuals that was going to try to sabotage her name and sabotage the event. I, am, I don't know her. I've never spoken to her. The only person I speak to close to her staff is Auntie Paula. And there are times when I would want to be a blessing and she said, no, in times past, and I'm going somewhere with this, just track with me. And she said, no, and, and that's fine. Uh, but this time the Lord said, I want you to purchase 10 tickets and be a blessing. I said, God, why do you want me to purchase 10 tickets? He says, this woman has been a blessing to people and her people have been a blessing to others. Now bless her people and bless her. And then uh, she made a joke and said, Pastor, if you have 10 more tickets, bless another. But the Lord spoke to me and said, buy 11 more tickets. I said, God, why? He says, I am going to do something with Auntie Donna that is going to shake the nation. She thinks it's just about being successful and just being who she is. She's an, an amazing woman. But God is going to use Auntie Donna to win souls. And God is going to grab a hold of Auntie Donna like never before. Her move from Jamaica to America is not normal. God is going to open doors for her and it's going to blow her mind. I saw her building a seven bedroom house with a five door garage and it was in a big and amazing community. And I saw the Lord opening doors. She's going to meet two white person. Remember this prophecy. Two white persons who are millionaires. Others are going to be telling them about her and her success. If you think Auntie Donna's story is anything yet, you haven't seen anything yet. America and the world is going to witness this prophecy come to pass. You will end up in Europe. You will end up in England. You will end up in Scotland Yard. You are going to be among some of the elite of the elites. And God is going to give you favor with men. And God began to show that. And so I've been praying. And so that's the reason why I sow. I sow the seeds not for popularity. So for some of you who don't get it, only those who know me, those who know me as Prophet Sean Mackenzie Miller knows me and understands that when I do something and when I say something, God is in it. Uh -huh. When the Lord said, get on social media and get involved and begin to win souls. So children and um, after the blessings that god has for her and nothing by any means shall harm her i don't care what her past was i don't care what what people have to say the lord tell me say i have called her and my servant and i am going to use her to do great things so and i've been in prayer and i told you that when i'm traveling and i'm in prayer and in fasting and I sat down, then when the Lord began to show me some visions about what he's going to do in Auntie Donna's life. And um, one, the Lord said to me, you need to apologize to Marcia for how you responded. Not for the message you gave, because Jamaica need to behave themselves.
but for allowing your personality to get involved and miss and, and, and causing the message to have a twist. The people needs to hear the voice. Let us come and meet in our plate. As long as her children had something to eat, she had no problem going to her bed on her belly and empty. And somebody said, well, why her story? And that's the problem with you Jamaicans. The Lord is using this woman's story in front of us, Jamaica. He's trying to teach Jamaica and the world a principle that kind. I don't want you to trust me, you know. I want you to trust God. Let your faith arise now and believe God with me. Today, what is it? Is this the 6th of October or the 7th of October? My birthday is in a couple months. And I am telling you, the same God who give me two range can give me ten. The same God who healed my body from twenty surgery. The same God who kept my mind from losing my mind from a marriage that never worked. All kind of something is the same God that can do it for you. Will you trust the Lord? And I want us in the 21 days to also pray for Auntie Donna. There is a calling, there is a grace, and there is a blessing on her. And every one of you that think otherwise, that's your problem. If you think I'm looking for clout, that's your problem. If you think I'm looking, that's your problem. I am a mouthpiece of God. And I say what God say. Whether you like it, yes or no. Whether you think I'm in her pocket or not, I feel your business. She's never spoken to me on the phone. And I believe that not only will her event be successful, but I believe that God is about to do something supernatural there. God wants souls and he wants to turn them around. And I believe the grace that is upon this woman's life is to change lives for the better. And she has not even seen half of the blessing that is coming to her. From a Hollywood to, to Cracker Beck, um, what, Betty White or uh, whatever that na lady name is, Martha Stewart, the ra woman, you're not seeing nothing yet. Some doors are about to open to you and you shall make Jamaica proud and put us on the map in a greater way. And I'm not talking about your cake. I mean, not talk about your food. Something extraordinary is about to hit you and your family. And it shall be, it shall be primetime news. Mm -hmm. We're praying for your protection, your safety, your guidance. And we pray that the Lord will continue to keep you calm. Because the likes of me, you have a little temper. Mm -hmm. Let the Lord keep us calm and let the Lord fight our battles. We pray and God shall deliver. Every one of you, if you...